Welcome. This short video is going to show you how to take files from Canvas, save them to a local desktop, and then open Citrix in either a classroom or your own computer so that you can access Microsoft Office, access, excuse me, or Microsoft Project. Okay, so we're going to start within Canvas, and you can see here that we have I've identified assignment number eight, which is the second of the Microsoft Access um, assignments. I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to look for the Microsoft Access file downloads. I'm going to go ahead and click or select the first file, T7 Classic Cars Data. You'll notice it has kind of that uh, .accdb file extension. And I'm just going to click on it. And that should put it down into my download folder on my computer. Almost every computer, at least a Windows-based computer, is going to down, um, when you download a file from a server or a web source, it normally puts it into your download folder. Your computer might be configured differently. You're going to have to figure that out. For mine, I always have it go to the download folder, and that's how I'm going to these instructions. So you can see down here it I have identified the location of those two folders. It's in my uh, this is my Chrome bar that shows what I've downloaded. I've also already opened the Citrix receiver which is Citrix at apu.edu. Your screen might look a little different when you select the apps storefront okay. I have access to a lot of stuff. But you can see here, this is where I have Microsoft Access. I'm going to go ahead and open Microsoft Access. And as I open it, it's going to take a little while because it's actually running Access on a server on campus. And it's now going to display uh, Access from that server into your web browser. This is called a virtual application. And this is how most companies are working in the future so that they do not have to install software on computers. The only thing they need to install on a laptop or a desktop computer is a web browser. That's it, whether that be Firefox, uh, Chrome, <clears throat> or um, Microsoft Explorer. That's all they need to do. And this makes it much more convenient and well, I guess I should have launched the launcher. Now, this is going to take a little bit more time than I anticipated. But um, you can see that this is essentially how you're going to work in the future. And this allows organizations to spend a lot less money on the computers that they're giving out to employees. Because technically, you only need something that's able to run a browser, like a Chromebook, which costs $400 versus a MacBook Pro, and you know how much those cost, or even a Windows HP or a Dell or a Asus, any one of those other computers. Okay, I now have access open. I'm going to open other files. I'm going to come to Browse, and on your computer, you should have a local drive. It says local. You should see this on your computer, and you might have to go to Users, and you might have to go to your your name. But there's the download folder. You're going to open the download folder. <clears throat> Let me sort this a little bit easier by the last files that I just downloaded, because I just downloaded these two files. You notice that I've downloaded them twice, hence it has the appending there. So now I can go ahead and open the file. And now in Access, it is opening that. And this is how I start using the file. It takes a little while. It is slower than running Access on your own computer or even running LibreOffice if you were using LibreOffice. So this gives us the tables that we were looking for. This is what we're going to use in this particular assignment for, um, for our queries. Okay, once you have saved or once you have created your queries, I'm not going to go through that part of the process here. After you've done this, 
and you've done your work, you want to then do a save as and save it down back into that download folder on your either on your computer or a computer in the library. If you're using one of the computers in the library, um, you want to make sure that you save it to the right location. And I'm just going to give this a three so it gives it a different file name in my downloads folder. Up here you can see that it's already pointing to my downloads folder. Now, from here, this is now still residing on the computer, um, the local computer. From there, in the, um, in the libraries, you can now save that file from the download folder over to a USB key, okay? Which the, on the computers in the library, the USB is key is in the back of the monitor. So if you don't have that, what you can do after, uh, after you've saved the file, you can go to your download folder And see, here's the the three the third file that I just saved. This uh, file below it that has an L and the file extension. If you notice over here, it only has one K file. That's because I still have that file open. As soon as I close that file, that L file goes away. It's a temporary file. Don't save that one. The one that has the A C C D B. That's the one you want to save. Now you can save this to either your uh, thumb drive. Or in my particular case, I uh, use Google Drive. So I can go up to Google Drive. And let's say I'm going to go over to my, um, you, I suggest you create a, a folder for your class classes where you store all of your data. So this is where I store um, all of the data for this class. And I'm going to go to File or New, File Upload. It's going to ask me where do I get the, the file that I want to upload. It's a little slow. Here we go. I'm going to go to the Download File. I'm going to go to the file that I want to upload. I press Open. And now it's going to upload the file into my Google Drive. OK? It's a little extra step using Citrus to do this, but you can do this for both Microsoft Access and Microsoft Project. Okay, hope you find this helpful.